In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this water portrait using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Drool here and welcome to another video by Tutorials Junction. And as you can see, this is the final output and let's look at the original image. So this is the original image and this is the final output. Okay, so let's go and create this effect and for that, I'm going to go to file and open the image. Uh, so I'm going to select this model photo. Uh, and first thing I would like to do is crop out and make it HD resolution. So for that I'm gonna go and select my crop tool here and in the crop here you can add in numbers. So make it 1920 and make this one 1080 here this one. And also make sure that delete crop pixel here is off. Then go and confirm it hit enter. Now let's go and make the image a bit smaller. For that press ctrl T, hold your shift key and make it smaller. Uh, so it fits inside the canvas. I'm gonna go and put it somewhere around here. Okay, now go and confirm it. First thing we have to do is cut out the face. But when you do that, ignore the ears and only use this portion of neck. Uh, select your pen tool and start making the selection. So as you can see when I made the selection I only used this portion of the neck and I ignored ear and I only used this portion of the face. Uh, so uh, after this path is done I'm gonna press ctrl enter to turn it into a selection and after that go and click on this little layer mask icon here. So rest of the image is hidden. After that uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and adjust it so I'm gonna press ctrl T and let's go and make it big. And I'm also gonna rotate it a little bit because uh, it's not aligned properly. Okay, that's perfect. Confirm it. Now I'm gonna add a background. For that, go and create a new blank layer and put it under your model. Uh, then get your paint bucket tool here. Right click paint bucket. Make sure color is white and fill it. Now let's go and do some adjustment on the model. For that, I'm gonna go and create a new adjustment layer and select color balance. This will go on top of model and also turn on clipping mask so it will only affect the model. After that, make sure it's mid-tone and here in the cyan, make sure your numbers are minus 83 if you're following the same image. Uh, and here in the blue, I'm gonna add a little bit blue so it's gonna be plus 48. And here make sure preso luminosity is on. Uh, after that, I'm gonna create another adjustment layer and this time I'm gonna go and select levels and here in the levels in midtone I'm gonna go and make it 1.12 so just to make midtones a bit brighter and after that I'll create another adjustment layer and select hue saturation here and in the saturation remove some colors so I'm gonna go and make it minus 36 go and close it and also make sure these two layers are clipping mask so right click here and create clipping mask and same here right click and clipping mask okay so we are done with all the adjustment and now we can add in water splash so for that go to file and go to place uh, and select any of the images that you downloaded. So I'm gonna start with this image and place it. Uh, I'm gonna put it here and make it a little bit bigger so it covers enough area. Looks pretty good. After that go to your blend mode here and go and turn it to multiply. And we also need to remove it a little bit from here. So for that go and apply a layer mask. Get your brush tool, make sure color is black. Right click and make sure hardness is like 20, 30%, uh, even if it's zero, it's fine. And I'm gonna go and make it bigger uh, and remove it from here. And by using the exact same process, I'm gonna add a couple more splashes. So I'm gonna go. And one important thing you can do is whenever you are in this transform option, when you press Ctrl T, after that you can right click and select this warp option. So this will allow you to like adjust things even more properly and it will give you a lot more freedom to follow shape of the face and it helps a lot. So use it. So this is done and as you can see it's just the same repetitive process but one thing I would like to show you. Uh, I'm gonna go to file, place and do you see this image it has 5 or 6 different splash in one single image so I'm gonna show you how to use it properly without getting confused. 
So select this image and instead of placing it, I'm gonna go and hit cancel. Actually, I'm gonna open it in different document. So I'm gonna go to file, open, and then I'm gonna select this one and then open it in different document. And now to bring this uh, here as you need, because if you bring all of them together, it will just become a big mess and it's not fun. So what you're gonna do is you right click here and select lasso tool and let's say if you need uh, this one so you're gonna go and do a rough selection you can do it with mouse without any problem so make a rough selection it's a random splash anyway so i'm gonna go and make a selection like this okay i hope you can see it <laughs> i don't know uh, in recording okay so once the selection is done go and press ctrl c so it will copy only that splash okay then go back to this document here and press ctrl v and you have that here without any problem and now I'm again gonna press ctrl T make it bigger and follow the same procedure that I uh, did uh, moments ago right click I'm gonna select warp and adjust it properly and just like this I'm again gonna go back uh, get my lasso tool and I'm gonna select every single splash one by one and I will put it on the image where I think it looks good that's it Okay, so all the splash work is done, but as you can see here, this edges here on the model, they don't look very good. So to fix that, first of all, let's go and activate the model layer, select your brush tool and make sure color is black and activate your layer mask here. And now, uh, also before you do this, right click and make sure hardness is absolutely zero and make your brush pretty big. And now you can make the edges a bit softer. Uh, Make sure you have selected the mask, <laughs> sorry. Uh, and then go and paint here and you can blend things like this. And if you take your time, it will look really seamless and beautiful, so do it. Okay, looking pretty good. Now let's go and do some final color correction. So for that, I'm gonna go and create new adjustment layer and select curves. And in the curves, I'm gonna make a dot here and then I'm gonna go and make it bright from here. So we have a little bit more contrast and shadows are not way too dark. So I think this looks fine. And after that, I'm gonna go to my red and add a lot of cyan because it goes really nice with, you know, tone of the image with splashes. And after that, I'm gonna add a little bit of red so we have some of the skin tones proper. Okay, looking good. After that, go and create another adjustment layer and select Vibrance and add a lot of Vibrance to make it more colorful and punch the colors a little bit. Okay, then go and close it and let's go and adjust the curves a bit more according to our need. So that's it and this is the final output and here's another image that I created using same process. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did, hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, ask me in comment section below. And if you are new here, you can click on any of these boxes to check out more videos by me. Plus you can also click on that subscribe button so every time I upload a new video, you will get the update. Plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my YouTube channel where I have tons of Photoshop tutorials waiting for you. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.